glitter, glamour and the ideal female form all were celebrated during Paris Fashion Week. But away from the runway, another female type has been attracting a lot of attention in France. Gabrielle Didier is speaking up as she never has before, with a book on what it is like being overweight in a country where larger women are rarely seen and never heard. The French woman is supposed to wear size one clothes. She's meant to always be made up. She's meant to be perfect with lovely firm arms. The idea is that thin women are winners. As a child, Gabrielle was on the heavier side, but she says that she only got fat, trying to get thin, and that ever since, her life has been defined by her size. What you get every day is people intruding into your life. So when I go grocery shopping and I am buying chocolate, someone will tap me on the shoulder and say, that's not a good idea. And it isn't just intrusion she's come up against, but until the book and the signings, difficulty finding work and keeping it. The principal hired me in July, and when school started, I presented myself to my colleague, and she looked me up and down and said, I don't want to work with a fat woman. Which is why Gabrielle says the book has been both therapy and a much-needed opportunity. It's made her something of a media celebrity in France, precisely because it appears to have hit a nerve in a country where looks matter as much as they do. It's very hard in France and maybe more in France than other European countries. Uh, because, um, as you know, uh, in France, uh, uh, all you, you look, uh, your dress code and uh, your physical appearance is very important in the French society. Which may be why Gabrielle's book, One Isn't Born Fat, has been such a hit. Not only do so many women relate, they also think it is time things changed. I think we are at a moment when people just, maybe they are fed up of being uh, excluded uh, for what they are, or the way they look, or the way they think, and they just like want to change things. And maybe that's why her book is, is successful right now. Gabrielle says she's surprised at how well the book is doing and more determined than ever to be heard and perhaps most of all seen. Melissa Bell, CNN, Paris.